Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Let's give us a second while we put a link out on Twitter and Discord. Now we have a little bit of hello people, shall we? Hope everyone is well, enjoying the Wednesdays, etc. And welcome to Orca Bay. For the live stream. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, wonderful. Hello everyone. Okay, goodness gracious. <laughs> There's already 50 of you here. Welcome everyone. See who we have. And we'll have a little catch before we start building. We'll let some people turn up. Uh, so we've got Lemon Boy, Michael, Malay, or King of Mashed Potatoes, the Kenzie Corner, Michael Robinson, Dush Star. Welcome in, guys. Uh, Anna Marie is excited for her first live stream. Welcome in, Anna. Nice to have you here. Welcome in. Uh, who do we have? 420. Welcome into the stream, buddy. How are you? Bad Wolf as well, of course. Shout out to the Aussies. Nikita. Ian, how you doing, mate? Welcome in. The Governor. Welcome in, Karina. How are you? Nice to see so many people. Goodness gracious, so many. <laughs> so many. Oh, come on. That's the third stream for Orchid Bay. No, this is the second Orchid Bay stream. This is the second one now. Welcome in. Hello, VC. Martin, Frayden, Bailey. Jesus is here. Welcome in, Jesus. T addict, harsh. Welcome in, everyone. So yes, welcome back to Orchid Bay, guys. So we're just about ready to start popping 25 tiles, which will be next episode, I think. But there's a couple of little awkward spaces just lingering in the city that we need to fill before then. So that's what we'll do today. Should be quite a lot of fun, I think. But either way, should we have a lot of pan around? We haven't really been in Orchid Bay live for a while, have we? Should we go and enjoy some vistas? It's a really nice one over here that you guys rarely see. Over towards the downtown. Of course, we haven't streamed since the downtown was in, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to attend a live stream from you. Welcome in, Nicholas. It's nice to have you here. It's nice to have you. Hey, wonderful, everyone. Yeah, so welcome in. Welcome in. Is it vanilla or mods? It's, it's vanilla with mods, I guess. <laughs> it's vanilla with prop line tool, basically. Yeah. Uh, cool. Right. So there's this little space here that I want to see if we can develop a little, a little tower plaza on, because we're kind of still contributing to medium density at this point. So that is what we will start out with. So we could bring the road out from here. It's only going to be one building, so traffic isn't really an issue. How about this one? Hmm. I think that's probably too big, isn't it? That's probably a little bit too big. Lovely city, yeah. God, you're enjoying it, Ian. God, you're enjoying it. How is everyone? Everyone excited for the um, update next week? It'll be a lot of fun, right? Trolley buses aren't crap anymore, which is nice. Uh, I want like a thin number. That's what I'm trying to find here. Is that one better? I don't want to totally block the view from the fields into the city here either though. Or maybe we want it on its other axis, don't we? Maybe that's the maybe that's the play here. Should we try that? If we put it here. Yeah, I think that's the angle, isn't it? Oh, Sarah Ducky's been a member for 16 months, Sarah. That's crazy. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's absolutely nuts. 16 months of support. Hello, Egg and Co. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for the support, lovely. I really appreciate the membership. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, 9 p.m. in Victoria. I'm a fan of when the time zones bounce to extremes. Me too, Nicholas. Always glad to have you here, my friend. Uh, does anyone know how I can download mods from CS to Epic? Uh, it, it's a massive ball, like 420. Um, I would just save yourself the hassle, mate, and go and get the game on Steam. It's just, it's just so much easier than having to mess about with Epic. You have to drag files, and it's, it's just a nightmare, dude. Like, the, the game's really cheap for Steam now, especially if you're on instant gaming. I would just get it there, buddy. Save yourself a lot of hassle in the long run. Uh, okay, so let's go with this, and I think we'll stick some car parking near the base of it as well. 
So let's have some of our alternative car parks in. That's quite a big one, isn't it? Just go for a couple. Okay. I think I'd like to have that elevated pathway continue as well because obviously there will be more density down this little peninsula so it's going to make sense to keep that pathway going. It's going to stop people from using the pedestrian crossings all the time so we'll have it go down. I can't wait for the update. Which one are you most looking forward to at Early Challenge Deck? Um, Industrial Revolution, I think, for you say. Yeah, Industrial Revolution for me. I think the game is sorely in need of some new uh, industrial assets. Cool, this is nice. Uh, let's get some more car parking on the side of it as well. And we'll see if we can get a perhaps slightly fancier tree, maybe one of the little flame trees that we've got to play with now. Uh, it's kind of a little bit dwarfed at the bottom of the tower though, isn't it? Maybe we want a palm here. I actually had someone call me out in the last episode for my love of palms. So, <laughs> I'll have to start being careful with them. Maybe I am using them too much. So glad I can make this live. Welcome in, Max. Welcome in, buddy. Oh, James's Aviation has been a member for eight months. Hello, Egg. Um, happy I can watch the stream today. Happy you can watch it as well, James. Thank you for the eight months membership, dude. It's really generous. Appreciate the support, buddy. And welcome in. It's nice to see you. Uh, okay, so I think we'll do a little path on the ground here as well. Let's snap into the grid. And we'll sort of develop a little bit of a landscaped corporate plaza at the bottom of this tower here. Mm, so it would be really nice actually if we could run the path either side. I think we just want to knock that tower over by hopefully a tile. How much of a ball lake is this going to be? We'll find out together of course. Can I still fit my car parks in here? Yes, I can. With one to spare actually. Are we doing a huge central park like space for downtown? No, These, the park space for downtown is the ocean park. The rest of it will be built up density. Yeah, there'll be no more significant park areas in the downtown, I think. The rest of it will be made up of Brooklyn and Queens when we can eventually play with it. Which will be next week, of course. Uh, okay. I guess we could even, just for the sake of having everything centralised, move everything over by one more tile. That will just line up kind of perfectly then, won't it? Let's go for that one. Sorry, I am a slave to symmetry, so just, just bear with me. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure it looks decent. There we go. And then I'll have my path in that grid, and then everything can just budge over by one. Oh no, because it won't be central, will it? It's fine though, we can just bring the path down the other side. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we'll generate a little bit of green space here, maybe. It's a pretty significant waterfront feature, isn't it? It is. Hey Tim, welcome into the stream, buddy. How you doing? D-Dubs has got terrible phone signal. Sorry to hear that, mate. Hey Theo, welcome in. Um, have you made the pair in the AI district yet? No, um... Good shout though. Yeah, we want to go change the the keys out, don't we? We'll go do. We'll, we'll do that today. Yes, we will. We will do that today. Um, right. Let's do a little. Just a. Uh, we want a key here. We probably do, don't we? Um. Change it to a city wall with fences. I don't think I really want this to be muddy riverbank when we're near kind of a corporate tower here. That involves tearing that bridge out. I think we can live with it there. And that down there. This is where you need to move it, isn't it? <laughs> Would have been wonderful. It actually says someone wouldn't mind having move it added to the mod list so we don't have to mess about with like vanilla bridge heights and stuff. We can just set it to the height that we want. Which I think we might do. I 
I don't like the date palm in the road here anymore. We change this down to Linden, maybe. A cycling road with a grass median would be massively appreciated, but we don't have it, do we? No, it's not one of the ones that was added. Which... I guess we don't need to carry on the cycling infrastructure this way anyway, because it goes off into downtown, so... I guess this can just be grass with median, can't it? I don't really want the trees are kind of taken away from the tower a little bit. Okay. Are we a legend? Hi from Australian Outback. Hey Luke. How you doing mate? How you doing? Okay. I'm doing, not doing too bad Tim. Thank you for asking mate. Thank you for asking. Hey Salish. Nice to see you as well buddy. Nice to see you as well. I'm doing well. How are you my friend? Alright. Right, let's just get some... Little tree numbers knocking around this way. Some nice gentle green space at the foot of the tower. Uh, yeah, there's no need to carry that on with the pedestrian bridge. That'll be okay. And maybe some little content creator numbers as well. Can we make sort of like a little pattern out of the trees maybe? Maybe I'll stick a little ball wheel pine in there. Not everywhere though. I don't think I mind the occasional California palm in there either. It's filled a pretty awkward space. Yeah, I don't think I hate it. It's alright. Uh, oh, hello Biffo, welcome in. Uh, just the man, hey OE, I need to help with a vanilla thing. How to place a park off-grid, you know, half a square over so it lines up with a road. How to place a park off-grid. One to two squares over so it lines up with a road. I'm not sure what you mean, Biffa. I'm not sure, buddy. Um, what you mean, so like it's set back a tile? Is that what you mean? Is that, is, is, is that what you mean? I think it is anyway. Um, if in, in that case, then the way you would do it would be to, uh, for example, let's just set up a little example area here. Uh, if we clear some forest out. I think this is what it means anyway. I hope the house maybe is going well by the world, Biffa. Um, yeah, so you can place it and then what, like, place your park on it. Um, and then downgrade into a small road, is that what you mean? So you'll set back a tile? Is that what you're referring to? I think it is. <laughs> I'm sure it's that. I'm not, I'm not sure, mate. If you... If you want to drop into the, the Discord DMs, I can try to help you out with it, but I'm not sure what you mean by your message. Yes, yes, drop me a pick on Discord, Biffa. I'll have a look at it for you, mate. Welcome in. Hope the house prep is going well. Biffa's about to move house, everyone, if you haven't heard. So uh, if we were all sending some well wishes, I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Okay, I don't think I hate this. Just a little simple garden at the foot of the tower. Kind of helps us contribute to that medium density vibe a little bit still, doesn't it? And hopefully we're... Not too out of the realms of possibility here with our medium density crawl on this side of the river. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, it's 10 past 4 in the morning here. He has to go. It's cool catching you all for a minute. No worries, acid rain. But thank you for staying up so ridiculously late. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good sleep, buddy. Uh, yes, so the wonderful AI suburb, which I think we're going to name. We had a great suggestion last episode into... Um, Orchid Bay Eye, because that's just way too good to pass up. <laughs> this is a absolutely great name. I'll credit that at the start of the next episode. But absolutely wonderful suggestion. Um, but yes, the comments were awash with people telling me to upgrade into the tiered key. 
Which really works, doesn't it? Should we go for that? Should we have the tiered key in here? Have to let me know what you think. Let's have a little hydration brick here as well. I'm not used to talking for two hours straight anymore, so <laughs> I have to build my hydration levels back up. What football team do you support? Egg, I'm a Manchester United fan, Bailey. Who do you support? I spelled orchid wrong, did I? Yes, orchard. <laughs> so I did, so I did. Orchid, there we go. Thank you very much, Star. Yes to the tiered key, it is a lot better, isn't it? Yeah, let's get that in then. Gotta get that key pack? Yes, absolutely. If you're missing the bridges and piers, definitely one of the better content creator packs. The addition of walkable keys into the game is just fabulous. So are they gonna, oh, oh, I just got excited before he teleported back up. I mean, they do use the bottom key. No, they, <laughs> they don't, they don't use the stairs though. Levitate up, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, or oh, do we wanna like alternate it so there isn't stairs every segment? So maybe every other segment will have stairs. Maybe there's too many stairs there. So we'll go for the one without keys for the time being. Is that a little bit more sensible? Manchester United also. Sorry to hear that, Bailey. <laughs> it's not great at the minute, is it? Not great at the minute. Although D-Dubs is a Saints fan, so... <laughs> at least we don't support Southampton, right? Liverpool will come in for your fourth. Bring it on, Piaggio. Bring it on, mate. Okay, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That's not too bad, is it? It's all right. Cool. So that's a big difference. Uh, so there's also some gear knocking around over this area near the downtown stuff. I want to sort of landscape this area a little bit, see if we can bring in maybe a bit more probably IT cluster, because this stuff here was actually abandoned. So we'll get rid of this. Kind of an awkward spot of the downtown, this one. We've got sort of a big Chungus Road network, and don't really want to have a lot of businesses on the main road. I want it to kind of be landscaped while we're next to the stadium. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how that turns out anyway. Uh, right, let's grab some Wild Hedge. Best tree in the game. We've got 242 of you here as well, guys. Thank you for turning up for a little bit of Wednesday. Orchid Bay. I know it's a little bit last minute. I appreciate you managing to turn up anyway. Thank you very much. And Michael's been a member for eight months. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate that support, buddy. And yes, if you are enjoying the video, guys, or stream. Uh, likes do help. Thank you very much. Uh, use the one with the arrow on the bottom, otherwise there's no path. Did I not use that one? No, I didn't. Excellent shout, Max. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, let's go ahead and do that one. There we go. Now this bottom one's flooding a little bit, but that's fine. We can make it lower. Uh, right, yes, let's come back over here. So yeah, we'll kind of do what we did over nearby to the stadium that lies near the concert plaza. Where we've just got sort of bush line in to highlight the walkways up into the stadium. We might as well upgrade this into a chord pathway. What colour is the stadium? It's yellow, isn't it? Maybe zoo path might be better suited then. Do we want to like theme the path after the team that plays here? Something like that. That way it's sort of similar, isn't it? To the stadium, rather than just the grey path. I think we'll go with that instead. Yeah. Cool. Right. Let's bring some more pathways around here. Why is the prop line tool messing with that node? That's very unusual. 
This is the new line tool, by the way. We have moved away from extended managers library now since it is no longer supported. There is a mod to remove the dependency, by the way. I'm not sure if anyone's aware of it if you're using it. Um, these horse chestnuts are built into the stadium, aren't we? So I guess it makes sense to kind of keep that pattern going around the edge. Hopefully that was fairly natural. Gotta get back to it. Have a great stream. Mega bye everyone. Look forward to catching you later. See you later, PC. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, Mehmet. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh, Mehmet with a 18-month membership. Insane, Mehmet. Thank you so much, dude. Good day to you as well, my friend. Really appreciate the 18 months, mate. That's absolutely nuts. Thank you so much. Parking for the stadium. I'm thinking the stadium will have kind of a... A side development here, which I'll include parking for, but the tile radius currently blocks it. So when we open 25 tiles, I think we're going to throw in one of Bad Peanuts parks. If I can remember where they are. They're in here, aren't they? I think. I think, yes, they are. Um, yeah, I want to add this thing into it. The super baseball complex and make like a side training complex, if you like. Oh, yes, match day. Walk at all the walking. Yes, please. Something <laughs> was so good. Oh, that's the best. Walk, everyone. Are you going to take my pathway? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Isn't that just the greatest? That is the best. Very nice. Did they, did they at least win? No. They lost. <laughs> they lost. Cool. Uh, okay, this isn't too bad. Can we get the bush line in on this side of the pathway, or is the collision mesh of the stadium going to stop us? No, we can do it, we can do it. Not here, though. No, that's where it starts. That's fine, though. That's okay. Have it run there. Then we can start from about there, it looks like, does it? And then we'll run it down that pathway, too. Oh, the second, <laughs> the second Mehmet is here. We've got two Mehmets. More Mehmet, the better, right? Okay, cool. At least we're all using the pathways to get around. Uh, but yes, we would include some parking for the stadium um, when it opens up, but it will be developed further into a little complex, I think. Uh, we should probably plan the networks as well while we're here, actually, shouldn't we? Um, let's use that high-speed train viaduct. I imagine I want a lot of my Brooklyns and Queens stuff over here. So I think an elevated train line will be quite on theme with that, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, there is quite a lot of elevated train infrastructure that runs through that part of New York. I'm not... I've never been, so... Please feel free to correct me if that isn't true. But I do feel like an elevated train line will work nice with Brooklyn's and Queen's stuff when we have access to it next week. I guess we'll see. Um, parking... I'm not sure what to put here. Should we just go for commercial? On the main street opposite the stadium? Selection of high density. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. I think we can design perhaps some little cut-throughs here as well under the elevated network itself. Yeah, let's put them where they'll make sense next to a pedestrian crossing or something. And then remove any weird zonings that we might not like. Let's see what comes in here. Probably say hello to 270 of you here already, guys. Thank you for turning up. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Evening from Australia. Hey, Gray. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Uh, Black is from Germany and plays on the PS5. Welcome in, Black. Nice to have you here, mate. How are you? Um, I haven't seen the City Let's Play from the beginning. Have you done a campus or plan to? Yes, there's a very small campus. It's over... Right by the start. It's one of the first few episodes, wasn't it? Um, yeah, this little one here. We did like a little... Tied it onto an industrial farm area. So it's like a farming agricultural college. Yeah, this is the only campus in the city at the minute. 
Yeah. Be awake. Cheers from Chile. Hey, Pancho. Thank you, mate. Cheers from England. Uh, yeah, I don't mind this, to be honest. This is actually turning out quite nicely. Um, at least for some assets, anyway. Not all of them. Yeah, don't mind those. Just keep them historical. Don't want anything getting too big out here because we're crawling out of the skyline at this point in the city. And that's going to be a perfect corner asset? Yes, please, everyone. Absolutely wonderful. Awesome. Farming campus, right? That's the one, Dusha. That's the one. So are we ever going to see Oe's face? Probably not. Edits? Probably not, mate. Are we ever going to see your face, more importantly? I think that's what everyone wants to hear. Uh, there's also a bit of tree lining as well here to upgrade. Uh, let's do that while we're here. It's all these little bits and pieces that get left behind in episodes that are just perfect for live streaming. And then we need to head back over to one of the Karen suburbs as well shortly and uh, do a bit of work over there too. And then, oh, too deep high density is never usually a good idea, but we'll see what happens. I'm keen to kind of frame the train line here. That'd be quite cool as it comes between the buildings. So much pink octopus. <laughs> Why is it everywhere? Please go away. That was not too bad though. I'll have a bit of parking. And you should be okay. We'll let that level up a little bit. Is there only two... What, how, how much room do we have here? It's too deep, isn't it? Is there only two by something assets that would squeeze in nicely? Well, the Korean police station's too deep, isn't it? Do we have a police station over here? Uh, no, we don't, actually. Okay. Let's get the police station in them. And I think I probably want to extend a bit of that height. I don't want to do too much out this way because things might have to move to accommodate that big baseball training complex thing, but we'll do a little bit of work out this way. Uh, let's also keep the palm mine roads going as well. Cool. Um... Is there any buses that come through here? No, it's just the tram, isn't it? Oh, I need a... Oh, there is. There is a cycling and tram road, isn't there? Six lane road, median and tracks. This road should be that one to maintain the cycle hierarchy through here. We do lose the grass median out of the downtown, but I think I can live with it. I love this area of the downtown as well. I want to do some more bush lining through here. We'll do this while we're here too. I do really enjoy this um, little open air plaza here at the foot of the, foot of the city centre. Really fun. Uh, a bank. I think a bank would be too deep, wouldn't it? I know. I keep, I keep forgetting the banks are a thing. We haven't placed one down. We have the skyscraper bank now as well, though. Put this somewhere. Uh, what's the traffic flow? I'll let you know. Traffic people love the numbers. 85% at the minute. Yeah, it's not... It's all just... I mean, like, the red bits are just busy. It's not like it's backing up or anything. Yeah, it's busy roads. I mean, like, why is that red? <laughs> the traffic makes no sense on cities. It just doesn't read it properly at all. But yeah, it's not bad. 83 to 86%, I guess. Cool. How was the medical coverage? Uh, fantastic. Yes, very well. A lot. See, like, medical is a joke as well, isn't it? Like, out of a city of 47,000 people, 22 of them are sick, right? <laughs> it's just not... It's not... At all realistic, is it? I really hope they rework it for the cities too. The whole medical mechanic. 
Um, I want something here. Oh, not that though. I don't want to delete the road. Let's bring that one back. Oh my god. There we go. I really cannot wait for that new zoning adjuster thing to come with the update next week. Rather than having to do the fence everywhere. Uh, right, let's have a look at this space here. It looks like a unique building might actually fit in quite nicely here. Is there anything left from skyscrapers we want to use? Oh, I mean, that fits. Do we allow it to sit? Is that the perfect corner asset? Is that what we're after? It's not as tall as the other towers, so we're kind of getting a crawl down here as well. Uh, King Key is off to sleep. Um, have a test tomorrow. Good luck with the test, King. Thank you for hanging out on the stream, mate. Have a good sleep, mate. We'll speak to you soon. Hello from Brazil. 8.30am here. Hello, uh, Mathola. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hello, mate. Yeah, EMB is right. Medical is just parks with a different tab, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They are just parks. Um, that's kind of happy, isn't it? I think I'm happy with that one. Yeah, and then again, we can maybe do a little bit of pathway sort of designs and fun uh, beneath the towers and the elevated networks just to help give a bit more purpose to the space. Which I think we'll be doing. And as Nick says, these are the rules. If it does fit, then we sit. There's no argument that can possibly dislodge that. I'm glad that you made the room for it. Oh yeah, we're in the plaza, Karina. Yeah, it turned out nicely, didn't it? Definitely worth doing for... The open air vibes here. I do really like this. is like one of my favourite downtown plazas I think we've made. The disaster memorial with the garden. I think it's uh, quite special. How's the transport hub doing now? How busy is this thing? 1300 a week. All the platforms are just absolutely nuts though, aren't they? Is there anything need upgrading here actually? Let's have a little look at the lines. The trains are busy, but they're not full. Where's the metro? Give me a metro line, please. There it is. What are you like? Yeah, your metro is absolutely fine. And the trams as well. Where are the trams at? Trams, hello. See what the trams are like. Yeah, trams are fine as well. And monorail. Thirty-two. Yeah, monorail's fine. Yeah, transport hub's good. I love that hub. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, this is like best hub in the game, I think. It can be really awkward to fit in though, just because of how it works. You, you've really got a plan for how this goes into the city because there's so many elevated networks coming off of it. It's uh, it can be a difficult one to use, I think. But it is nice. Yeah, I agree. It's very good. Anyway, let's do some more bush lining and landscaping around here, around the edge of the roundabout. Why we're not going to have zoning on these roads here? We'll just turn it into green space at the foot of the main towers. Uh, right. Let's have a bit more Wild Hedge. Oh, uh, leaving my current job today, so watching company time for the first time. It's great. Oh, good luck, Paddy. I hope you're leaving for pastures new, mate, and grass is greener on the other side. Thank you for watching on company time. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hope we don't get in trouble though. I'll say, how many people do we have scarving work today? Is there a few of you? Uh, we'll do some pathways here as well. We've got the pedestrian crossings. Let's go for something a little fancier. Probably university pathway. Oh, I bet all the bloody pillars <laughs> are going to stop me from joining this in, aren't they? Yes, of course they are. Of course they are. Okay, we'll just have one come through then. Otherwise that means be ripping everything out just to accommodate a pathway, which I'm not going to do. Right, let's have that one down there for right now. That's fine. And then we'll bring it under the train bridge. Something like that. Fantastic. Roly Poly, he's skiving. Christopher skiving, Dush is skiving. DW is on his lunch break. Pietro's skiving as well. <laughs> Good. 
I'm glad I can help you guys, Skive. Just please don't get caught. I wouldn't want to be the reason that some of you actually lost your jobs. Cool. Um, you know, I'm kind of really enjoying that quite simple horse chestnut lining that we took from the stadium. Do we just want to have this? Just repeat around all edges of this roundabout. I think we're trying to sort of overthink it, aren't we? But it doesn't really need it, I don't think. Just that nice border with the hedge at the foot of the towers. I think it's alright, isn't it? I think. I always start cities with a bunch of ideas, start building, realizing it with us a grid and quit again. Take any tips, anyone? Um, slow down. Detail the areas that you build. It's sort of like my top tips. And don't mass zone. Mass zoning really changes the way the city looks. And get the content creator packs because you get these sorts of buildings which are far superior to anything that you can possibly zone. Okay. I like this introduction now, I think. It's a bit more purposeful, isn't it? Although, I kind of, I think the, the live oaks are maybe a bit out of place now though. I think we should maybe stick to small trees in this roundabout, right? Yeah, it's been some love for the vanilla colourful ones. I do get called out quite a bit these days for totally neglecting these trees since the content creator ones came along. Let's do some classic vanilla colourful numbers. Which to be fair is Mr. Mason's fault, not mine, right? Look at some maps of real city layouts. Yeah, that's a good point from T Addict as well. Is that uh, use Google Earth for inspiration if you want to break out of the grid or lean in, lean into the grid and build Ilos. Okay. Uh, make some small parks in those spaces. Give it more life. It'd be nice if we could have some assets here, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So like people actually. You know, came to the green space. It's a good point. Um, what can we use? See, there's some really nice stuff coming with the railroads of Japan that would like fit perfectly in this space. And all the new parks that are coming with the tourism stuff. Until then, we've just got park life things. I guess a, a plaza would probably go down well. A plaza with picnic tables, maybe. Something like that on the corner. Yeah, I don't think I hate that. And then we've got space there. Um, one of the IT cluster towers is quite a small 3x3, three three, isn't it? Um, and then we do have an IT cluster zone here. So let's bring that across to this corner now as well. And then we'll zone up a little office spot here. I'm pretty sure it's a 3x3 three three one. Let me just check the find it filter. Um, I see cluster three. Yeah, it's that one. It's that one I want to grow in. I oh, know the other one's three by four, so it won't grow with the rail line there, but that one will, though. Yeah, okay. We'll let that grow up. And then let's bring these pathways out now as well, so. They sort of go somewhere. Let's have it come alongside the bank from here. Fabulous. And maybe a touch more commercial in there as well. Cool. And then with the spaces where we don't have zoning, I think we'll just have some little trees or something. I say little trees as I pick the tallest tree in the game, the live oak. Uh, it's fine though. I'm happy for a bit of greenery to linger about near the rail. Cool. That should hopefully just complete that section, uh, section a little bit more. Well, say we're ducky with a twenty Australian dollar super chat. Such a beautiful city. I love watching it add details and enhance it even more. Thank you so much, Sarah. That's really generous, lovely. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. It's very generous. I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, good morning, John. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, could you put a food truck with some floor tiles in one of those spaces, a few benches? 
in one of these, Karina. Absolutely. Let's do this space here then. Uh, what tiles do we want? Some different plazas. Oh, we've got these ones that I still haven't used. Uh, let's put these on a fence fill. Can we go from here? Yeah, okay. I know there's little cracks in them, but don't worry, we will fix that in a second. It's really just getting the mass pattern down that I'm after right now. Super. And then we'll place individual tiles to cover up those cracks and any inconsistencies that we don't like. And we'll have this one come down to the corner. I think a little bit of hedging actually might go quite nicely here. We'll have a little... Let's just do this on a fence fill while I'm placing it manually. Let's bring the spacing down a touch as well. Let's go for five meters. Should be enough, I think. Or not. Three. Why are you not doing as I tell you, Propline Tool? There we go. No it is. Oh god, some of these vanilla props are just a nightmare with Propline Tool. This is where move it helps, isn't it? Like, massive help. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Just bear with it. Uh, and that's tidy up where it comes off onto the street. And just clip it through so we line up. Something like that. And let's not do it space already occupied. And let's just grab that tile again because there's a tiny little corner there that's not quite filled in. Something like that. Cool. Okay, that gives us a little tile. Uh, let's remove our search filter. And come into... They're all in Plaza's props, aren't they? Yes, they're all here. Fantastic. There's a really nice new restroom coming, by the way, with um, Railroad of Japan. Like, really top-tier Thunderbox. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, let's have a couple of food trucks here. Let's get one from Park Life as well. Um, one of the hot dog stands. Yeah. Would you like to choose the bench, Karina? Why, why it's your idea? You're more than welcome to. If you have a preference, just tag me in the chat. Oh, remember Ali Briskin? With a 220 Turkish Lira Super Chat. Hey, Ed, can you open membership gifting? I don't know how, Meme. You asked me this a few weeks ago, and I had a look, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, I don't know how to do it, mate. I honestly don't. Um, if, if, if you know, feel free to let me know. But I, I googled it, I had a look in the back end, and I just I couldn't see it. So... I don't really know how to remember, I'm sorry, but thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, should we go for the table? Uh, maybe this one. This one's quite downtown, isn't it? Is this all right for you, Karina? Which one's this? University table? I like a pub bench. You know the ones. I do know the ones. It's these ones, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the other ones. Um, bench. Why can't I find it? I, I know which one you're talking about. That one. Beer garden bench. Yeah. I think we'll run with this one, though. I like the downtown table. Um, I won't be able to find it again now, will I? This is where the picker mod is amazingly handy as well. <laughs> Just to grab all the things that you need. Do these knocking around. Imagine we'll need a light here as well, will we? Yeah, it's a little dark at night, isn't it? 
We got some bins. Go for a bin. Let's have some on the corner. One over here as well. And we'll also search for a light. Let's turn night time on. Have a couple in the corners as well. Okay, so now we've just got a little eatery area. Bottom of the bank. Don't hate it. Oh, there we go. Another IT cluster asset came in. That one's quite nice, isn't it? Should we keep that one in? Robot solutions. Nice bit of parking out the front as well. A few parasols. Can do. Can do. Are they called parasols in the game? Yes, they are. Oh no, that's the thatched roof umbrella. There we go. Uh, we can't clip these into the prop, can we? To make it look like it's a... Uh... I know there are tables with umbrellas on. Can we get away with having them slightly off to the side because I don't have anarchy? I guess you can't really tell unless you're directly over it, can you? So... I think I can get away with it, but I imagine the Parasol gang aren't going to be happy with that. Oh, there goes the tram. Is that okay? You can't really tell, can you, that they're not properly aligned, but at least covers the table. It's either that or you use the tables with umbrellas on them, but they look pretty bad. We can get away with that, I think. Yeah, that's a bit of alright. Uh, what map is this? I was looking for a good map. This is Bay of Rivers from Sanctum Gamers Map Pack 2. Not Sanctum Gamers, sorry. It's not Sanctum. Sidai. Um, yeah, Bay of Rivers from Map Pack 2. This is. God, look how little of the map we've actually filled. <laughs> so, all of Orchid Bay is condensed into this really like tightly packed in area, isn't it? I guess you realise how little of the map we've actually filled here. Nice one. Anyway, uh, let's have a little hydration break here, shall we? Because I'm getting quite thirsty. We'll stick a little bit of nighttime spices on and we can have a little talk in the chat. 302 people, by the way. Thank you, everyone, for turning up. It's crazy how many people we can get on a live stream these days. It really is. Okay, we'll sit and enjoy the new tower. Oh, I love the train moving through the towers there. That is very nice. Yeah, a posture check. And a hydration bleak, please, people. We'll have a look at what's going on in the live chat. What have I missed from you guys? Sorry, I feel like I'm not talking much today. I feel like I'm very absorbed in building. Um, Did Mehmet reply? Yeah, if, if you can find out, Mehmet, how to enable gifting, mate, I'll turn it on for you, but I couldn't see it. I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure, buddy. Uh, yes, let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Parasol, please. I don't... <laughs> I don't trust the parasol, please. It seems shady. That's very good, EMB. EMB is always on the ball, isn't he? <laughs> he never misses it. Oh, well, Mehmet, you didn't need to super chat again, buddy. <laughs> you could have just... He could have just tagged me. He sent it through Discord. Within the live chat, select allow gifts or the pinned membership gift in. Within the live chat. Um. I don't have that option, Mehmet. I literally can't see it, dude. It isn't here for me. And it's not within the stream settings either. Um, yeah, I can't see it, Mama. It's just not here for me, dude. I can't just see enable membership gifting. I'll try have a look after the stream again, mate, but I did try the other week and it's just it's just not there. Thank you for the 55 lay with them, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Hey Jude, welcome into the stream. Hey Ben as well, nice to see you, mate. 
Posture check, that's not right, Nicholas. Yes, we'll have a posture check. Skyline's really coming along, isn't it? It's really nice. Is the three dots at the top of the live chat box? There's nothing there though that says membership. It's like community moderation. Missions. Yeah, just. It's not an option for me. Yeah, it's participants. Pop out chat. Talk on moderation activity. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. I, I, can't, I can't find it. I don't know why it doesn't show. Yeah, I don't have gift settings as an option there from those three dots. I just, it's not there. Oh, Dush, what the hell? <laughs> that was so crazy. Dush with the 50 euro super chat, this view, incredible. Thank you so much, man. That's super generous. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Crazy. Thank you, mate. You, you, we'll, we'll name a tower after you for that. That's insanely generous. Thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. It's very generous of you. Uh, T Addict is going to have to call it a night. Me and the Tenement thought are sick at the minute. I didn't sleep much last night at all. Oh, that sucks, T. Yeah, go get some sleep. Thank you for hanging out on the stream. I hope you both feel better soon. Cool. What a downtown. Actually, from this angle, has a slight Navaria vibe to it. Yeah, it's kind of got that wide boy look from Naver that Navaria had, hasn't it? Navaria's skyline was very long. It was. Uh, right, okay, I think we're done over here now. Um, I don't want to do work on this side, of course. This will be a 25 tiles episode when this opens up. So I don't really want to do too much here, but that sort of ties up some awkward spaces that we had. I'm happy with that. Uh, right, this area over here. Yeah, there's a little awkward space here, so I think we're just going to expand... Uh, wing Force Hills down here and then probably drop one of Bad Peanut Stadiums in I imagine do a little build around that cool. let's come back to build guides brush as well not Thessius how's everyone enjoying Thessia by the way I haven't really spoken to you guys since it started have I hope you're all enjoying the Australian inspired build uh, right let's keep this going with Rodanthon as well uh, if it looks at the area where you can become a member, click the three dots after clicking join, you will see gift settings. Is it because I'm on... Like, my YouTube studio screen? Let me go to, like, the actual live stream on YouTube and see if it's there. Let me give you guys a better view than just this random place. Look at the suburb. There you go. Are you... Join. Three dots. Gift settings. Allow gifts on this channel. Choose whether others can gift you an overcharged egg membership one month. I mean, it's ticked. But that's for like me personally, though, isn't it? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it right now. While we're streaming, I'll figure it out later. I don't know why it doesn't let me do it. Okay, so let's run our little local road around the edge of the river. And then we'll make sure we're aligned with the guideline of the highway as well, because we're going to be playing with some, what I imagine would be quite nice orientation here. And make sure we're not too encroaching. I think that's screaming out for a bit of fence, isn't it? Or maybe we can upgrade the highway to one with sound barrier. Might be quite nice. Have that. You connect in. Everyone's happy. And then hopefully a guideline and a curve sees everyone happy and tucked up. Tremendous. Uh, yeah, so let's go for a sound barrier highway. Even though it's out of my 25 tar radius. Oh, come on. That's out of city limits. No, it isn't. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, this honestly, sometimes vanilla just. Boils the egg, if you know what I mean. It really does. 
But it is fun though, and we do end up with a very pretty city, so we like it in the end. We do. Uh, love Thessia, love Thessia. Everyone's enjoying it. Thank you very much. Have you made any condo complexes? Uh, yes, there's one over in the medium density solution. It's an episode if you'd like to see it. I think it's called the perfect medium density solution. I think. The LUT used for Thessia is a brilliant choice. It's nice, isn't it? Even though there actually there is no LUT, but I get what you mean. Yeah, the graphical settings are nice, aren't they? Render it is a very powerful mod when you figure out how to use it. It's just very overwhelming when you first load it up. And you have no idea what any of the sliders are affecting, but it is a good mod. Right, and let's just run that there for right now. Cool. I think eventually this will become a sound barrier highway. But for right now, I can get on board with the suburban fence. Cool. Uh, right, so Bad Peanuts Stadiums. Do we want a stadium or a park here? Would a stadium actually work? City soccer. I don't want anything too big. So American football, that one's too big. Yeah, the rest of them are absolutely enormous. Yeah, they're all... They're all too big. So do we want a stadium or a park? Where are we here? Like, I'm not too sure. Karen does already have a stadium. Well, this is Wingfall Hills, so I guess it's a different suburb. I don't know. Live chat. Stadium or park? Help me decide here. What are we doing? Well, let me put down a park for some sort of perspective, at least. Um... Yeah, that's one of the parks, isn't it? So you can, we can go, go park size or stadium size. Or both, yes, yeah, so we can do both if you want. Yeah. Hey, I love Vulcan Base so much. It's a beautiful city. Thank you so much, James. I appreciate the kind words, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. Greetings forever nervous, Sam, as well. Been losing with pain, but so much satisfying. You had to overcome those limitations. Absolutely bang on, D-dubs. Yeah, bang on. It is, isn't it? A lot of people saying, why not both? Yeah, we could do both as well. We could do both if you want. Uh, someone wants cricket pitch. Everyone's on cricket. Why not a high school? We can have a high school here as well. No reason why we can't. Actually, no, there's already one here. There's a high school there. But we can move it into this area now. Stadium is too big, says Finn. I don't think these ones are too big, are they? I think we can get away with maybe the American one. The city football stadium might be a little bit too much. Um, okay. What are the cricket pitches like? I can find them. Here we go. Community cricket pitch. Could we partner cricket and American football? Be a very unusual partnership, but we can probably make it, make it work. Wouldn't both create too much traffic. Uh, eventually, there'll be a highway connection here, so it's not a connect it's not really an issue right now. It's probably too much for this junction. You can see it's already busy. Like this whole neighbourhood here is dying for another highway connection, which will come here. But that's twenty five tile eggs problem. Um, what's the public transport like out here? Yeah, the more I'm seeing it, the more this isn't really a spot for a stadium, is it? I don't think it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll try. We will... We'll see what happens. Um, Right, let's bring this up. And then around the back of the stadium. So we've got the car parking facing into the complex. Not let me place here. Stadium. Come on. Here we go. It's a really nice drive by from the motorway, isn't it? 
stadium's too big for us for such a small suburb. Oh, yeah. I was trying to ignore that thought in my mind, Anna, and you're just helping it reinforce itself. I think maybe we will do a stadium, but we'll do it as part of Sharon when we develop that town, the rival town to Karen. I think Wing 4 Hills just doesn't really merit a stadium. I think Parks with the Green Cities theme is much more appropriate, isn't it? Oh, that looks so good there, though. <laughs> I really, really like that. Oh, it's, no, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Right. Okay. We'll go with Parks. We'll go with Parks. Uh, right. So, we'll do Cricket. We've, we've not really done much Cricket in Orchid Bay, so... Screamed out on a near daily basis to do some cricket for the cricket gang. So we'll do it. Amusement park instead. I'm thinking amusement park dush is going to go over here. Like a little crap sort of dilapidated one. Should be quite fun. We might do that today if we've got time. Uh, okay, so we'll go with the suburban cricket pitch. No, we won't. So we'll go with the community cricket pitch as the centerpiece. Now, there's a lot of pathways going off this, so we probably don't need to use roads. Let's bring road length off. And we'll have the road come up this way from that one to kind of box in this central sports park area. Oh, let's just move that over by one. That's just going to help me line up the frames to hold everyone. There we go. So we'll have that. Can we get it sat centrally in the space? Not that it really matters, but it'd be nice. Mm, yes, we can. Cool. So we'll turn off our road length. Let's start developing this as well. So we've got some residential demand. I bet it's a nice bit of high density near here, actually, maybe. I feel like we neglect high density residential quite a lot in this city just for the sake of aesthetics, but. Vanilla high density is just so awful. Uh, I kind of like that football pitch there, actually. Maybe we can keep that in. Something like that. Uh, that feeling when you are discovering overcharged egg and want to watch him live, but don't spoil the series you're miles behind on. Well, we're, we're kind of out of the way here, Goggle Pop. So you won't really get any major spoilers. We're right on the edge of the city. So, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to risk it being spoiled. Alright, so we can't squeeze through there. But we can here. Okay. Right, I just need to slightly rearrange my nodes. How I want this to flow. Right, so let's have that. And then we'll bring back this little... Curved road against the river. Then you can come back in. Yeah, we'll have that on a little angle. And then let's develop this space here for a bit of high density. Well, I'm, I'm after more medium density, of course. I want sort of apartments here rather than high rises. And where do we want to develop them off? The whole Green Cities district is over this, isn't it? No, we need to paint it out further. We will stick to the edge of the tile or the road. Super. Uh, have like a catfish cafe, similar as the Cricket Pavilion. Yes, we'll have a catfish cafe here. Down for that. Oh, Bad Wolf with a 7.99 Australian dollar super chat. Hey, I need to shout out to Delore who gets her new flooring next week after two months of waiting. That is ridiculous, Bad Wolf. What is going on with those Aussie insurance firms? Hmm? Well, yeah, shout out to Delore, guys. She had a big flooding in Oz. Lost a lot of stuff. So we get some well wishes and a big shout out for Delore, who well, up until recently I thought was a cat. But thank you for the support, Bad Wolf. Appreciate the support and the super chat, lovely. Thank you very much. What's my go-to Nando's order? Oh, I very you know what I only went to Nando's for the first time last year, and I've been once again since. And I just got a medium chicken wrap, mate. I'm sorry. I know that probably makes me 
quite uncool for the Nando's gang. Unless you have like super hot, you're not cool, right? If you go to Nando's. So yeah, just like a, a medium chicken wrap for me, mate. That's it. Nothing too exciting. Uh, right. What's going on? I need high density, but how do I want it to look? Hmm. And I think we'll use the old faithful vanilla reset. Let's grab some farm fencing. We'll design a little cute suburb here. Should be quite nice to partner some sports fields with the green cities bit. It's just little little areas in the city like this that are really awkward that don't quite lend themselves to an episode. Great for streaming. Mushy peas with that mushy peas with the Nando's. Really? I'm assuming we're talking about Nando's still. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope so if it's talking about mushy peas. Uh, child and elder care within medium sized residential towers. That's what I'm thinking, Dush. I don't care, lemon and herb taste great. See, I'm not a massive lover of savoury citrus. It really isn't my sort of thing. Again, I'll probably. I don't know, maybe there is some people actually that also hate savoury citrus, like orange chicken and. or like lemon chicken and orange duck. Like, just. No, thank you. I could think of nothing worse to eat. And everyone seems to love it, but if there's anyone in the chat that hates savoury citrus, please do let me know. You'd make me feel a lot better. Okay, so let's go over some three deep green cities high density here because we'll get some nice apartment ones and then I think we'll have a couple of little 4 by 4 spots because we can have... Again, not towers, more apartments is what I'm after here. So no to ham and pineapple on pizza? No, because pineapple isn't a citrus fruit, is it? I like, I actually like pineapple on pizza. Which again, I think people only pretend to not like it because it's... Just, just to be cool. Yeah. Do you enjoy salmon? Literally, uh, with lemon drizzle is the only way I can think to eat it. I don't mind a bit of, like, fresh lemon juice on a bit of fish. I just don't want the whole dish to taste of lemon and orange. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it isn't nice. Okay, these are actually kind of perfect, right? That's really cute. Happy with those. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not against pineapple as a... As a sweet and savoury combination. I do like pineapple on pizza. Um, I do like the little half moon pattern there. Let's keep that in. We'll see if we can have some spaces here as well. Just wary of this getting quite ugly. I don't really want it to. And then I think... To bring these spaces together, we will have more of that low density green cities. Uh, Lauren's the same as me. What, hating citrus food, Lauren? Yeah, it's not great, is it? A beer pineapple on pizza. Pizza fruit does not belong on pizza. I don't think it's a case of saying that fruit doesn't belong on pizza. It's just, it's a good sweet and savory combo. Like, I don't think it's bad at all. Yeah, I think it's alright. I think it's fine. Uh, I think what we might do here, actually, let's do a cute little frontage network against the, um... The road here. Open that, that, then put that back in. Cool. Oh, currently Heather <laughs> with, with, a, with a 20 Australian doll super chat, panel and pizza all the way. Thank you so much, Heather. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> I really appreciate the super chat, lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, what's, what's, what's everyone got to say? 
tomato is a fruit. Like, yeah, like Cups has thrown a massive spanner in the works, hasn't he? Tomato is a fruit. Tomato goes on pizza. Uh, Star stuff should have prepared snacks. It's been a long without live stream. I forgot to be all the food talk. We do get sidetracked a lot with food, don't we? Ian is on board with pineapple, but not on pizza. Uh, ketchup on pizza is definitely a food crime. I wouldn't put it on the pizza. I could certainly dip the crust in ketchup there, I think. Raisins on a spinach and ricotta pizza. Surely Joshua is joking. That's a different level. Raisins on a sp No, that, that's got to be a wind-up, Joshua. There's no way you're putting raisins on pizza. I'm not buying that. <laughs> I'm not buying that one. Co-worker told us his favourite sandwich is saltine crackers between two pieces of white bread. It's become infamous in the office, the cracker sandwich. Does he not have taste buds? Just a cracker sandwich. I'm not sure. Isn't there a childcare centre already at the top of the hill? Um, elder care. Yes, there is. You're right. Yeah, there's a childcare centre here as well. Uh, yeah, we don't need another one then. Uh, you guys are not growing up to the assets I want you to be. Let's see if we can affect things a little bit here. I think I'll keep the um, farm fence going. And then we'll redraw this road here because I don't want to. Well, I want to have fresh zoning in. So we'll keep that one in there. That's fine. Then we'll throw in car park. What's that on a three by three? That's kind of a nice little asset. Let's see if we can surround this little car park here with a couple of little three by three numbers and make a bit of a fuss out of it. Then I think we'll have some trees around this it's not a gated community, is it? It's just, I guess, an apartment complex. Little pathways back in two as well, of course. Let's turn off some road length angles here. We've got 320 people here as well, guys. Thank you for turning up. I hope you're having a fun Wednesday, whether you're skiving work or chilling at home. I do appreciate you turning up. Got some colour in there as well. Jacaranda, always welcome. There's a oh yeah, we have a new um, favorite tree as well coming next week. Um, Egg has a new favorite tree. It's not looking too bad, is it? That's all right. It's okay. Uh, raisins, yikes! Yes, yikes indeed for raisins on a pizza. Yeah. Egg so disappointed in his asset children. How about a dessert pizza? Yeah, I can get up with dessert pizza. It's very sweet though. I think you've got to be like at a party or high to eat a dessert pizza. It's not something you just go for, is it? Alders would be nice. I'm not a massive lover of the alders, Andy, to be honest. Yeah. Joshua's not even joking. It's amazing. I'm sorry to freak you all out. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the controversial statement there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, right. Let's uh, continue this fence design. I'm getting distracted by the pizza talk. What, what's my go-to pizza order? Um, I'm just like a classic pepperoni guy. I'm a very vanilla person in real life as well, you know, like... I'll have a medium chicken wrap from Nando's, pepperoni pizza, <laughs> it's not not remotely exciting. You guys are making me question my life choices now as well, like, maybe there's not enough spice in my life. Maybe I need more spices. I do like spicy food though. Like, I, I live super rural as well, you know, like, I just... I don't have the options of like decent fast food anymore. There's, just, there's nothing nearby to me. Uh, yeah, let's make all these historical. I don't want anything getting too big. 
And uh, we'll do a little, little landscape garden here to introduce a suburb, shall we? Where we've got a little bit of space. Let's do a line of wild hedge. And maybe a fire tree. Spicy food is life when you grew up in Louisiana. Do you know what I have been getting actually speaking of Louisiana? Um all of a sudden, like randomly out of nowhere, I've been getting a lot of crawfish boil shorts coming up. And that seems quite an interesting meal. Just to the fact that like you're boiling crawfish in like orange juice, it would actually seem. Which I'm sure is alright, but it kind of it triggers my Savory, like sweet and savory vibe again. Is that potatoes going? Yeah, I had a lot of like crawfish boil shorts come up on my feed recently. Randomly speaking of Louisiana, it has nothing to do with the stream. Simple egg, yes, yeah, simple egg, Karina. Simple egg. I am not a man of high maintenance. Just vanilla city skylines and pepperoni pizza, and I'm pretty much happy. Uh, this road probably wants to peel off, you know, doesn't it? And sort of come under the highway here. I think that actually could be a little bit of yes, please. If we bring this down, can I get you to connect here somewhere? Not like that. Okay, let's actually make this one here be the one that goes under the bridge. And then we'll just curb this one into it rather than trying to force the other one to fit in. There we go, that's what I want. And then we'll need to tidy up a lot of this forest brush here. Because we'll be moving into some more rural towns out here, I think, from when we do open 25 tiles. So we'll... Bring that road out to run rawly somewhere. Probably to another town. Oh, is that an animal? Yes. Oh, should we go back to the um the animal park and see if anything's been eaten again from last time? We haven't been over here for ages. Oh yes, they're here again. Oh, there's more of them. There's a, there's the deer. And and the cougar's still here. And another deer. Fantastic. The hunting ground is still going. <laughs> I love that. I love that they keep spawning here. Is there any more? Is that it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's that's all of them. So, what was the story again? It was a cougar, and then the cougar became a deer because we have carnivorous deer in Orchid Bay, and now there's two. Two deer and a cougar. <laughs> oh, no, one of them has disappeared. Don't know why that happened. That was good timing, wasn't it? Maybe we hit the animal limit. But yes, they are still going. The hunting ground is still enjoying itself. Uh, okay, this high density is settling in quite nicely, isn't it? I don't mind it over here. Cool. Uh, right, I need to have a drink and we'll have a little posture check as well. Stick a bit of night time on and hopefully we can enjoy a very special, very far away night time view to downtown Orchid Bay from here. But yeah, a posture check and a hydration break, please, everyone. Stretch your spines out. It's very important we take care of our backs. Uh, what about making the second tower from the corner up to level two to make it a story taller for a gradual height? We can do that. Um... Andre, I don't, I'm really probably butchering your name, mate. I'm sorry. Uh, crawfish boils are so good; they don't taste super citrusy, despite how much goes in. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to try it. I'm a big seafood lover. I do like seafood. Uh, I have to check out your streams. Where you talk about your metro? Um, be the episodes where we talk about the metro john i think we didn't do much metro stuff on live stream yeah 
Uh, in Louisiana, crawfish bowls are usually done in a spicy broth with potatoes, onions, and garlic. Some people, though, put orange peels in for extra flavor, but it's not crazy common. Oh, okay, okay. Is this a food chat or a game chat? It's a bit of both, Andy, I think. A bit of both, mate, yeah. No one wants to talk game. <laughs> I had questions about intercity trains. That's so funny, John. I'm sorry, mate. John, please ask away about intercity trains, mate. Yeah. You can use the exotic animal marker from Part Life DLC to spawn animals. They're coming in by themselves. I don't need them, Salash. Um, is there a large pool that we can put right behind the city center? Uh, we can use a community pool here. The community pool would work really nice in here, actually. Uh, we will do that, Erin. Thank you for the idea. Uh, green tea time. How much do all the DLCs cost? If you use instant gaming, Ergo, you'll save a lot of money than if you're buying through Steam. You will. But yeah, use instant gaming, mate. It's linked below. You'll save yourself a fair bit. Cool. Uh, right. Community pool. That's a good idea. These things are 1,200 a week. So it costs more to run a pool than it does an entire medical clinic. That seems unbalanced to me. Hmm, how much we we are actually in quite a heavy deficit here. What's um what's eating into the budget? We're spending twenty eight grand on medical. That is way over egged. We need to bring the medical slider down. Bring it down to fifty percent. How much does that hit the capacity? Barely. It barely even touches it, does it? Okay. Yeah, let's bring the night slider down as well, otherwise that'll mess it when we go to nighttime cinematics. We're spending 53,000 on unique buildings. And public transport. What's costing so much on public transport? Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> Why is everything just 999? Can you not just give me an actual reading game? It's really helpful. <laughs> Idiots. Idiots. Oh, Dush with a five year super chat. We really need to talk about food. I have dinner puns and really don't want to spoil my appetite in sneaking into my snack cupboard. Um I think the chat the chat's got away from us, Dush. There's no there's no holding it now. <laughs> the food chat's begun. Thank you for the super chat, mate. Really appreciate that. And then Michael W with the ten US dollars super chat work is called and got a run. Thanks for a great morning. Nothing I'd rather do than hang out here. Thank you so much, Michael. That's really kind of you to say, mate. I really appreciate that. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day, mate. I hope work goes okay for you. And I really appreciate the super chat, mate. Thank you so much. Um, what map theme am I using? Um, the map theme is temperate, but I am using the inbuilt cold color correction override, which makes it look like this. Uh, what happens if your sims decide not to use a train station you have plopped down? Um, well, I, I guess they'll, they'll just go elsewhere if they don't use the train station you put down. Because they'll have a faster method to get somewhere usually. Oh, and then Carlos with a 10 uh, euro super chat. It is euros, right? Is it euros? Yes, it is euros. Yes, thank you, Carlos. <laughs> a donation for the train please funds uh, for, for fundraising event. <laughs> That new building needs some funds. Thank you so much, Carlos. I really appreciate it, mate. And yes, thank you for donating to the train, please, cause it's needed. <laughs> it's very much needed. Why do you have 999 on the trolleys? I've no idea, Jesus. It's it's probably it's quite clearly bugged, isn't it? There's something not right here. Yeah, I'm spending what's that? Nine million, basically ten million on ferries, trains, trolley buses, and natural buses. Not a clue. Uh, right, anyway, let's get back to building. H how do you find... Actually, this is a good, I guess, customer feedback opportunity. When we're streaming, do you guys find I spend too much time talking? Or not enough? Or too, like, yeah, like too little or too much? More gameplay or more talking? A hard balance, you know. It is a hard balance. Hey, I see some landscaping here against the um, suburb. This is why I wanted this frontage road here. 
all that. I thought I might be placing the train station incorrectly. I don't think you really can place them incorrectly, mate, to be honest. Once they're down, they're down. As long as you set up to accept intercity trains, you'll be fine. But you don't always want to do that, though, because you don't want intercity trains going everywhere. It's a good idea to keep your um, train networks especially separate. Cargo, passenger, and inter internal. Or in intercity, I guess, because passenger would be internal. You're doing fine, relaxing boys. Hey, Rachel, welcome into the stream. Welcome in. How are you? Like the balance of both. Good balance. Cool. Good. Happy days. I always feel like I'm ignoring you guys sometimes. Uh, right, I want catfish cafes and whatnot around here. I want them facing into the sports complex, though. Which means another road. Which isn't the end of the world, it's okay. Hmm, I might actually push them a little bit further up. Just so we've got the room to zone. So let's have that. And then we'll just go for a happy batch of commercial something three deep. I think catfish cafes is it? Have a little look. I can't remember what the catfish is. Uh, commercial. Yes, it is a three deep one. Yeah, so let's go for three deep then. We'll wait for some university city stuff to spawn in. Um. Egg, could you change up the road type so you can get a pedestrian crossing of the dirt path you just placed? Uh, yes, I can, Ben. I can. Good shout, mate. We can do that. Yep, so let's run these across. We'll do some trees and decoration here and whatnot to help settle it in. Um, did I want that community pool? It's really, it's really expensive. I mean, it's not like I'm, I've just placed a tower that's probably costing me. Actually, what? Well, that's a good point. Let's see how much one of those towers costs. 420 a week. It costs more to maintain a pool than an entire skyscraper. That's so unbalanced. That really annoys me. Don't like that. <laughs> that's a really irritating land value. Did I delete a park? Why is your land value unhappy? We never get land value complaints. Uh, did I delete a park here? I don't think I did. Um, can I offer you guys some tennis? Will that cheer you up? I hope we find out. Oh, oh, okay. No, I know why. Um, it's because we just brought the sliders down, wasn't it? That's why the land value is gone. Because I brought the slider too far down from the medical tab. I didn't realise that would affect the land value of it though. Okay. Can we do... Yeah, there you go. It just popped away now. Was that enough? How far must I slide you up for the land value to go away? There's a lot of dead people around here, isn't there? Have you guys got death care? Um. Yeah, there's a cryo preservatory down here. I guess we're just having a death wave, aren't we? They'll, they'll, they'll get around to them eventually. Um. Yes, there you go. Land boy is going away now. Okay, yeah, it was just it was the slider. It was the slider, wasn't it? Um. Okay. Oh, this is all green city stuff. I forgot we're in a green city district. Um. Okay. Which side is three deep? Okay, I do like the fact that's actually green city zoning, but I want to make a little hole. Yeah, because I would actually like some regular commercial. So let me grow. Yeah, and then Ben wanted this road type changing as well. To... That does look unusual though, doesn't it? It's fine. Let's bring it up to here. And then we'll have that regular road. And then we'll just let this 
little dirt pathway meander into the sports park here. And there as well. Fantastic. Cool. Hopefully we got some University City stuff coming in. That looks like University City to me. Uh, yes, happy with the green produce here. I don't mind that. We'll have a little bit of trees behind it. I'd say a little bit of trees as he plants an entire forest, but it blends in alright, doesn't it? Health budget affects the death care. No, oh, that's probably why then, Governor, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to have to put it up. Oh, I am going to have to put it up, aren't I? How wait, so I bring the slider down and all of a sudden everyone dies. That makes no sense at all, man. This such a stupid mechanic, right? I can't bring the medical slider down then. Let's <laughs> bring that back to 100 percent Good job we noticed that, otherwise all the orchid bay's bloody population would have died. Uh, right, let's go make sure nothing actually totally abandons. Let's just go ahead and stick down some cryopreservatories where they're perhaps needed. Uh you guys have got one over here. You guys could possibly do with an extra one. Let's go ahead and squeeze it in. Uh, over here, why we've got a death wave. You guys are alright, there's not too many dead over here. And um, just a couple of dead in fields of golden. I think we're alright now. Okay. So I guess that slider now. Yeah, see all the hearses relieving because you brought the slider back up. Isn't that weird? That's like people aren't actually dying. It means that their lives are tied into the health budget slider. I hadn't really realised that before. Um, you guys okay over here? Have you got death care? Uh, yes. Have you actually got hearses in use? Yeah, crematory memorial part does. Okay, yeah, they'll get picked up. They'll get picked up. What is the top and bottom slider? Uh, one's for day, one's for night. Uh, right, let's have a bit more residential here and we'll save everything a bit more green space knocking around here too. Really do need to start getting population into Orchid Bay. It's uh, We've had that residential demand for quite a while now. And then let's go for another relining here as well and we'll have some river facing houses as well why not i don't mind two deep green cities it is actually quite nice fantastic cool so let's get some trees around here now um can we bring that full concrete edge around the lip of the park or is that just too much can we find out bring out your dead i know right star Everyone dies at once. Yeah, it sort of gives us like a wider pavement, doesn't it? Which I think is a very subtle aesthetic, but one that we can probably get on board with. Let's just redraw everyone here so we're snug up against the road as tight as we can be. Cool. And then we'll just have some... Simple tree patterns, I think, and a couple of benches, I think, will go down well. Search for a bench. Uh, something like that. Yeah, just in there, in the shade of the trees. Yeah, this was this was definitely the good call. Thank you for talking me out of doing the stadium. It would have been way too much for this area. Okay. Are you guys alright? Do you want to, like, get picked up? Why is there so many, like, red dead? Redemption. Um, we're actually getting hearses leaving, right? Yeah, they're going. I think they just need some help. I'd actually quite like to do some experimentation with that. So we brought the health slider down and a load of people pretty much instantly died. It feels like there's 
kind of a stupid mechanic tied into that, doesn't there? You guys alright now? Are we getting picked up? Yeah, I think we are. Pretty serious death carriages over here as well, though. Like, you guys don't really have one out here, though, do you? Let's give you one. There we go. Okay, I just want to make sure my whole city doesn't abandon. <laughs> it seems like it's on the verge of doing that. Everyone's getting picked up here now. There's a few people dead in Karen, but that's by choice, I think. Anyway. Yeah, it's, they're, they're slowly getting picked up. It is calming down. <laughs> I was like, a little bit squeaky bum time then. I was like, is all, the entirety of Orchid Bay just abandoning where I'm detailing a little park? Is this the end? <laughs> is this the end of the series? It could have been. Cool. Okay, I think we'll expand a bit of a park area out here. Mm. I'm just going to place the Catfish Cafe. Uh, space already occupied. No, it isn't. There we go. Oh, it was a two by three. I thought it was three. Noob. Stupid egg. And let's make all this stuff historical here as well. Cool. It's a nice little commercial front now to accompany the cricket, isn't it? It's not bad. This is where a lot of the satisfaction lies in this game for me, you know, just... Doing little suburban sectors like this. Like, downtown's going to be really fun, but chill suburbia is where it's really at. Let's have some horse chestnuts along here as well. Fabulous. Has a pandemic on his hands, we do. It is, isn't it? Just put 200% for a while. I think, I think we're okay now, aren't we? Yeah. Most of them are cleared up. Oh, well, weirdly enough, though, these um, death symbols here have been here forever, and they won't ever get collected. I don't know why. Just two warehouses. But they never, ever get collected, though. Very unusual. Right. Okay. Let's just stop getting distracted. Let's actually finish one job because I keep lurching from one area to the next here, don't I? Uh, yeah, let's get some live oaks around here. A couple of eastern cottonwoods as well, I imagine, just so we've got a bit of differentiation in the trees. Cool. You want to maybe put some benches down for people to look into the cricket pitch. And obviously spectate. Some of these, maybe on a little prop line tool. Uh, five meters apart is a little close. Maybe let's go for nine. Something like that. Make sure we can have enough of them now. Need to manually place that one on the corner. It's, oh, it's, why has that got a square collision mesh? That's irritating, isn't it? All right, we can't have that one on the corner then. Okay. Uh, what forest brush trees do you use? Uh, I can give you a brief look at the forest brush. I can actually, I can share the XML, you know, actually. Um, I have boreal pine set to 23. Generic pine tree is 31. Green tree set as 60. Large bush is 4. Live oak is 68. 43 sugar maple. 16 tall grass cluster. And 24 wild hedge. There you go. Just rewind the stream if you need to um, see the numbers. Uh, cool. Right. Can we get some little roadies? 
in these spaces here. We can in some of them, not in all of them now. Ah, oh. oh, there is a sweet spot. There we go. Come on, that's fine. We don't need one there. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Sweet spots are there. You've just got to tease them out a little bit. There we go. And let's also go for a little row of roadies against the edge of the road. Tie off the cul-de-sac. Why not? Recap everyone died. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 32 of Orchid Bay, everyone. We're going to start again because everyone else died in the stream on... Wednesday. Thank you so much. That's what I needed. No worries, Kevin. You're very welcome. I cannot wait for the concrete paint tool so you can get clean concrete pavings one day, Reese. Right, one day. Although with the airport aprons that are coming next week, it'll certainly make it a lot easier. It certainly will. Uh, okay. This is nice. Do we like that? I think so. <laughs> Damn clients were trying to watch a stream. <laughs> oh, I love reading Star Stuff's comment out of context. <laughs> As in, tell him, Jesus. <laughs> this is just funny. That's funny to read when you haven't seen actual Jesus' comment. Okay. This is a nice little space filler, isn't it? Um, let's bring some spices in and around this area here where we've got a bit of openness. We'll remove the forest filler. And let's just have a little riverside pathway. Do we want some parking here? We don't have any parking. Parking might be nice. Um, oh, tourism assets as well. I feel like maybe, well not beach volleyball, but a skate park probably would have gone quite nicely here. I don't mind I'm saying cut off, like there's still time to get it in. Um, on the corner. With a couple of trees either side. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Next week's update looks so good. It does, doesn't it, D-Dubs? What's everyone looking forward to? Is everyone getting all the new stuff? Let me know what you guys are thinking of it as well. Um, you guys get an industrial revolution, railroad to Japan, hotels and retreats, like, what are you guys getting? All of it? None of it? You think it's going to be crap again like Financial Districts was? How's everyone feeling about new DLC next week? Okay. Uh, Fills out those spaces, and again, we'll just embellish with really simple suburban patterns. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll get an alder in as well. We had a shout for alders, didn't we? Let's go ahead and get them in. I don't usually like them, but I feel like I only use content creator trees these days. Uh, could you add in the train station in the AI city? It was a bit noisy. Um... I need the connections, I can't drive. You can take the bus. I think it's just, it's a bit of an awkward space to get a train station into. But maybe add one here. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I might do it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe when we're finished here. Uh, Karina's getting all of it. I'm excited for the new parks with the DLC, but the mechanic might be dumb. It's better than the financial district's mechanic, but it's still a, a city's mechanic, if you like, so it's not anything seriously game-changing, at least. Uh, wrestling with Paul is a few DLCs behind. Jao isn't sure yet. Or Yao, am I pronouncing that right? Jao, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm working on a presentation for next week, but not watching as much as I'd like, but I have to say it's so nice to hear you talking and building the city. Oh, thank you, Carlos. <laughs> That's really sweet, mate. It's nice to have you here, too. I hope the presentation is going well. 
hope it's not crap based on the teaser. It should be really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it, it isn't crap. It's, it's definitely better than... Like, when they announced it was another, like, mini DLC, like Financial Districts was, I was, like, sort of ready to throw up a little bit. But it is it's decent. It's, it's better than Financial Districts. Death Rate goes through cycles. Check the stats info. We will have a look at the stats info in a minute. But that was quite a big spike, wasn't it, for... um. Let's see. Yeah, a little marketplace there on the corner completes that commercial block. Uh, cute. I like this. Let's go get those benches again. Um, just the regular vanilla ones are fine. Uh, can I? No, I can't. Can I? I was going to say a, a little path connection there would be nice, but. It's a collision texture, so it won't it won't go through. Uh, yes, and then let's keep all this little green belt here just going off and over. There's a node there, isn't there? So they'll be able to cross there. Let's make sure we bring it out at that point then. Over there, and then come out of the back of the high school pathway. Have that go through there. And then we'll just do a bit of very light forest brush along the river. And then probably quite heavily overgrow the banks around Wing of Four Hills. Cool, let's get some rocks around here too if we can. Can we get some in the river? I don't want to cause the flow to go absolutely mad. Oh, Marco, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't. I'm going to go do it now. <laughs> I haven't fixed that statue. The amount of comments I had on that, honestly. We actually broke one of the dislike records for this suburb, by the way. I usually start the episode by saying you guys really enjoyed it, but I don't think I will next time. <laughs> so, one of the most disliked videos we've had in a long time. Maybe the AI gang not particularly happy with AI now building their city skylines videos. But yes, this was off center, so we, we will fix it. Uh, let's do this from um, top down. Oh, it's still off center, isn't it? <laughs> it's still off. Slightly more to the left. Is that what I need? Yes, there we go. That's better, right? Are we happy with that? Yeah, that's slightly more sense, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Sorted. <laughs> Sorted. Right. Cool. Stop using Find Egg. It's, it's the same as the inbuilt Find Egg. I'm only searching for a bench. Do, do you want me to search here instead for when I need a bench? Hold on. Right. We're not allowed to use Find It, so we'll have to replace these benches by using the in-game Find It instead. There you go, Ben. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> uh, right, a bit more commercial along here, I think. Kind of tie this suburb up and together now, hopefully. Uh, I want a bit more overgrowth around here, didn't I? Let's get some this thick, bushy stuff. And then we'll have a few more... Rocks or no, not that. I don't want to lose my overgrowth. We'll do manual placement of rocks then. Get some larger clusters together. <laughs> I am not content. Good. Glad to hear. I don't like these forest brush trees. They look very unnatural here. I think we'll have to place this by hand. Let's get a lot of the long grass here too. Always goes nicely by a river, I think. And then a little bit of this. That just sort of peels out the overgrowth. Always forget what this is called. Lantana, there we go. Have a bit of this knocking about. Fabulous. And then we'll just trim that back as well. And then manually place in just a couple of chill oaks. 
Okay, and I will use the search function here, Ben. Are you watching? Search for more benches. There we go. Alright. <laughs> then we'll do uh, one of the little pavilions out here too. Some basic green space, I think I'll do a job, won't it? Doesn't need to be anything more serious than that. Very nice. Wonderful. I enjoyed the episode. Skynet Gardens look wonderful. You did a great job. Thank you, uh, Gropper. I think God you enjoyed it. Really, that's a shame I enjoyed it. I think it's just the fact it's an AI thing, really. Yeah. And the fact that it did quite well for views, which means just naturally the dislike ratio goes up. Which is fine, you know. It's all engagement at the end of the day. Hey, Manor. Welcome into the stream. Am I in time to perform a rage? Nah, mate. we still got a bit more building to do yet. <laughs> You're alright. Yeah. Oh, posture check, actually. God, my posture is horrific. I get really close to the screen when I start doing bench detailing. Like, pressed up against it. Okay. This is a nice little filler, isn't it? We've done a little, little job here. Um, I definitely actually want the suburb to sort of spill out of the frame here though um how horrific is green city's low density gonna look if we have it on a hill that's this steep let's find out shall we i tend to avoid hill zoning for the most part in vanilla cities because it looks absolute bum cheeks but we'll see what happens here yeah We'll see. Oh, Ian, if you can, they should do a two builders, one city. You're not the first to suggest that, Paul, you know. There's quite a few people asking for that one. Um, we have kind of spoke about it, but I think we're going to save something for Cities 2 now because we've both got our own series on the go. So if it does happen, it'll be in Cities 2, I think. Um, I was thinking, actually, maybe get Biffer involved, like me, Fusey, and Biffer, and then we can do a three Brits build big, beautiful... Burbs, <laughs> or something like that. Something along those lines. The brand is still to be refined, yeah? Give me time. We'll, we'll make it sound better than that, but you get the idea. It'd be fun. Cool. Right. How horrific does this look? Okay, I'm going to head off now. I will catch the uh, start the VOD and end of the VOD another time. Cheers, Ben. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, mate. And Nick's going to make sure he keeps him vanilla. I will. I won't use find it to search for benches. Um, I mean, the gardens are an absolute mess, but imagine letting your kid play here. Absolute landslide. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I can I can live with it. I can live with it. It's fine. It's fine. We've got 369 people here, which is nice. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you turning up. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Let's not zone this close to the highway, though. Um, I want a bit of a tree there, if I can help it. Okay. And then we'll bring Builds Guides Forest Brook uh, Forest Brush back through here. Uh but leave those brown cliff faces exposed. Cool. Um I saw someone ask about the amusement park. Yeah, we are gonna go try it out, I think, because I want to have The amusement park assets unlocked for a build further down the shoreline. So I think we'll go start that park now. Uh, and I guess I'll have some more 2 deep zone in here. Don't mind 2 deep green cities. Uh, not there though. That's fine. Cool. Is everyone still dead? A few people in the downtown, but I think that's just the pressure of inner city life, isn't it? Low density doesn't look good under the highway. I agree, Reza. I kind of took it away a little bit there. I agree. 
Uh, right, okay. I think I'm happy with this area now. It's filled out quite nicely. Can't wait to get this highway hooked in over here. Uh, yes, so I wanted to see if we could complement this area here by doing kind of a horrible amusement park build, like a sort of outer town park that's just been left to kind of run down and, you know, sort of, you kind of visit like, under like great duress. No one actually wants to come and visit this park anymore. So let's see if we can sort of play with that idea. Uh, let's get some parking up out front. Uh, there's new car parks as well coming, by the way, with Railroads of Japan. They're very nice. Like, a lot better than the vanilla ones. Hmm, so let's have a little orientation here. How do I want this to sit? I haven't tried this build at all, so you're going to have to bear with me here. This is very much in the moment. Uh, where do I want my amusement park gate? Actually, can we bring it on a little angle? That actually might look quite cute. We can have that one there. And then... Yeah, let's have a little angle like that. That's going to be okay. Uh, let's paint the park area over out where we want it. So I don't want to get it to like level 4 or 5 or anything. I just want it to be a... Sort of crappy rundown area. Lots of overgrown fencing around it. Hello Egg, hello Lee, welcome to the stream, how are you? Where's Rich? Rich is in, um, is it Tampare, is it? Finnish city? He was in Helsinki, he's not here though. Does anyone also have a glitch where buildings disappear in pedestrian zones? Are you plopping or zoning, Captain? Depends how you're placing the buildings. How about some roadworks? Is that a possibility? Not in vanilla, Paul. Yeah, not in vanilla, mate, no. Right, so we'll use that forest as a boundary for the edge of the park. Let's see what we've got to play with. So... Place one of these in. Let's go for... This one here. So these assets, they have a square collision mesh, don't they? Yes, they do. That's okay. So we'll have some of these parks together. Don't worry about their connections right now. We will bring path all the way around it, which will eventually hook all of them in. Then we'll have another one here. So we can have that as our centerpiece and then the other way can come. Isn't that weird how that just suddenly lost its connection after the path was drawn there? That was a bit unusual. But I do need to draw this by hand. So we'll have that as our centerpiece, and then we can piece a cafe off of this central square. We'll also have an amusement park. Not amusement park, souvenir shop. That should be okay. Marvel, lovely spend a couple of hours with Owen alive. See you all again soon. See you later, Karina. Thank you for hanging out, lovely. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Do people still play the drinking game every time Egg says nice or cute? Not sure. I didn't know people were doing that anyway. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Someone in the chat might be able to, to help. Right, then we'll have amusement park fence run basically everywhere. Uh, snap to our angle here too. It's a lot of nodes, but it's worth it. Cool. Not too bad an approach now down this road, I think, is it? Yeah, that's fine. Happy with that. 
uh, like an abandoned Chernobyl style music park. Not quite as abandoned as Chernobyl, no. Um, <laughs> not not to that degree of abandoned. Not like ninety thousand people used to live here, but just a little bit run down. Not particularly well maintained. You know the the owners getting done for several counts of insurance fraud. There's safety issues across the park, etc. Okay, so it's really just a case of waiting for this gear to level up, isn't it? Um, let's get an amusement park plaza. Just off of our central square. And then we need to wait for... Level 2. Yeah, I don't really want like House of Horrors and... Pendulum rides, that would be too swanky. Like really crappy amusement park, so I, a piggy train. And rotating teacups is about as exciting as it gets. Okay. We'll see. Uh, right. Let's bring the perimeter fence around the back of the forest. We'll sort of mark the edge of the build. Again, don't want to get in too big, so probably be about there. Is it okay? And then we can delete this one here. And this kind of looks like a good place, actually, for... How are we doing for utilities? We're very nearly in the need of sewage. So pop a little sewage treatment vibe over here, maybe. Or garbage processing as well. We're in need of both, to be fair, so... Probably end up doing both out here. Let's terraform this land a little bit. It's an absolute mess over this point. There we go. So maybe we can have some sewage overlooking the amusement park if we're going to play with this little layer. We'll see what happens. Something like that should do. Let's make sure we're not elevating the fence though. Cool. So if we were to have an industrial road, just leave into a little industrial service estate over this side. Bring that on a curve to follow the bend of the river. Um, and then I'd really like... Uh, has a terrain there. Push it over slightly close. I've got a real big craving for pizza now, you know. I need to go food shopping after stream today, so I'm going to end up with a lot of pizza, I think. Um... Actually salivating over it. <laughs> quite, quite a hungry little egg. Oh, go away, water pipes. God, the most annoying things in the game. Ah, can't wait to delete them all when we hit the node count. Does that hit the vibe of like the sewage being treated nearby here? If we're kind of sat down in the amusement park plaza. And yeah, can you see it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Hello, brother. Hello, Aridge. Welcome into the stream. Um, uh, could you add a train station close to the park? We will one day. But not right now, because when this tile opens, all of this rail infrastructure here is going to change. But we can definitely factor in a, a, um, a train station when this area develops properly, for sure. Uh, and then we'll give that a touch of garbage processing as well. How does that do us? We could possibly squeeze in more water treatment if we wanted to. Or maybe a... An after dark asset. Not after dark, disasters, sorry. Actually, kind of, those water tanks sit quite nicely next to the train line, don't they? Should we go for that? Oh, uh, water? Are we out of water? No, I broke a connection somewhere with a pipe, haven't I? Um. Have I? 
Am I not using 81 tiles? Why do we now have water issues? We don't. Everyone's fine. Um, is it because that one wasn't plumbed in? Okay. Oh. Oh no, what's wrong? Don't put transport lines. If we hit a path unit issue. Why have you broken? Oh yeah, I've got a glitchy game guys. My, my public, public transport lines are breaking and we have water issues now. Um, is that because of the water reservoirs pumping water into them? It was. Okay, there we go, see? We didn't, I didn't know that. The city pumps more water than it needs. The excess water is stored in the tanks. Well, that's not true, is it? Because it takes all the water and leaves none for the rest of the bloody residents. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. Um, yeah, that's quite concerning. We have a broken public transport lines. That means we are, we're having path unit issues. Which I do believe is caused, or well, can be affiliated with the new key. Which I have placed in somewhere, haven't I? Here. Um, so I'm getting rid of it. I hate it when this happens. Um, yeah, we'll just go for the city walkie. I know that path unit issues can be a problem with that new key, so we'll just remove it. And then hopefully this bus line will just correct itself. A movie there. Okay, we'll see if that fixes it. We might have to get the path unit mod for that. Uh, right, we need total visitors for this to level up. Right, let's stick the game on um, high speed. Let's also give ourselves a little save here as well. Uh, let's go for episode 32.5. And I don't really need the no EML there anymore. I know it has no managers now. The storage tank seems to start within the last few months. Yeah, it's weird it siphons all the water away. It's supposed to just take the excess, isn't it? Well, that's on a public transport is broken. Uh, yes, Poma, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If you're having randomly broken public transport lines for no reason at all, it's because your path units are capping out. There is a mod called More Path Units that increases the cap. It's on the workshop, obviously, if you want to go get it. Right, okay. Let's leave the game on three speed here because we need this to level up. Uh, game speed up to three times. And we just got to wait for this to uh, tick over. We'll bring the ticket price back down a little bit too. Uh, God, that camera moves so quickly now. I can't play like that. <laughs> We're going to have to bring that back down. We're just going to have to wait. Let me bring my game speed back to 1 so it's not as slow as it normally would be when I play. There we go. Cool. Right. A bit more commercial opposite here. And uh, I think an abandoned warehouse by the amusement park might go quite well, mightn't it? Um, and we've got an excuse to put a warehouse here because we've got uh, industry so close by. Uh, right, let's go there. I'm sort of after that sort of seedy orange light on the other side of the fence at night, right? Like you don't want to come to this part of Orchid Bay. It's full of the undesirables, etc. Uh, let's bring that down. Uh, so what warehouse do you want to play with? Probably small. Oh, if we align it properly, actually, we can probably get the yard in there. Uh, just another tile over is what we need. We can do that. 
There we go. And it's actually too deep. I'll get it right one day. Uh, it's actually just redraw that again. Cool. That's what I wanted. So we'll pair some industry assets with the amusement park itself to help hammer home the vibe and just go for generic commercial zone goods here. That's fine. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and chuck in some long grass from... I need to leave my game on three speed as well. Uh, not that spammed though. And lots of this sort of peeling through the fence as well is what I'm after. Bit of overgrowth too, if we can manage it. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's get the thicker stuff in. Yeah, let's get it really overgrown. Yeah, that's what we like. And maybe just a smaller bush. Just so we can have that overgrown palette coming a little bit. And then... Maybe the older, because I know there's someone in the live chat that likes the older trees. Oh, hey, Casino. Oh, speaking of Casino, actually. We've not done this all stream, have we? No, oh, we should have done this when John was talking... Oh, Josh was talking about putting um, raisins on pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Casino. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, when and where do you announce it to be going live? Um, in the Discord, JJ, is the best place to find it, mate. You'll be pinged in the Discord hours, if not a day before a stream. That's the best way to find out. Uh, Maniac Mania with a 10 US dollar super chat. Finally caught alive. Much love, bro. Much love to you, Maniac. It's nice to see you again, mate. Always enjoy seeing your Pink Floyd prism pop up. <laughs> nice to see you, mate. Thank you for turning up. How are you? Uh, okay. I've just got to wait for this love look now. How many? Nearly there. Um, is there anything we haven't used? Maybe we can... While we're waiting for it to level up so we can access to some more assets, maybe we can use some of the props to kind of make a... Sort of like area of the amusement park that was going to be built but then it started running into issues so it's just sort of been left abandoned so we'll do this with dirt like they've not properly tiled the pathways yet this might look crap you're gonna have to bear with me this is vanilla prop detailing which isn't always the greatest it's like they've started to lay down the tiles right but not everywhere. And then they've kind of got some machines like lined up and ready to be installed, but obviously they haven't yet. So they're all just here waiting to be delivered. Got some vending machines ready to go. Couple of little blocks of them. And they've got some of these carts lined up. And yeah, they've got the sign in here ready to go for the part to expand. One of these little multicolored directional signs. And then we'll surround it with all industry fencing. So it's like, you know, it's a closed. Let me get rid of the um, amusement park one for right now. Yeah, like it's an enclosed part of the park because it's still under construction, so we we'll use ore fence for that. And we'll have this come down here. It's very improv, so <laughs> please just bear with me. And then let's have that go there. Cool. Then we'll do a bit more of the tiles. And then again, we'll let like nature almost like reclaim the building site because it's had no work done on it in a few years and maybe debt collectors have come round and repossessed some tiles off of the floor, which seems like a weird thing to repossess, but we'll run with it. 
yeah, so all these spots here are just overgrown where they haven't built for years. Maybe planning permission fell through, right? We want to harness that in a fill. We can pretend planning permission fell away. Right? Yeah, lots of this grass like over the tiles as well is a vibe, isn't it? And maybe some of that large vanilla bush as well will go quite well. Bit of wild hedge too. And then maybe some more of those amusement park props over here. Obviously they wouldn't have balloons because someone would have to keep coming out here and inflating the balloons, which would just be kind of funny, but <laughs> it really wouldn't make any sense. Does need some construction props now off the workshop, don't we? So does that make sense? That, you know, they were going to expand the park, but then he ran into... Oh God, Jesus Christ. Get out. Disgusting assets. I love this one here. Cool. Yeah, does that make sense? I hope it does. It's kind of hard to achieve in vanilla, but... It, it does it. Okay, and then we'll use that as actually the perimeter boundary for the park. So, they're just ready to um, expand it. Let's delete this one here. Have that one come in, and then out this way we'll have a little bit of that forest. It comes back through, but I think I'm going to manually pick out the boreal pines because I do want the water treatment plant to still be visible. And they will probably block it. Cool. Is that okay? I think it's alright. It's not bad. Cool. Right, how much time did that kill? <laughs> need. Need more bloody visits. So there we go, we're not far away. We're not far away. This is a good time for a posture check and a hydration break, actually. Uh, should I have a bit of nighttime views while we're waiting for... I should put, what I probably should do is put the policy on. That would help bring more people, wouldn't it? Let's get the main part turned on. And then we'll have a little bit of nighttime spices. Did I amend the budget for medical? Oh, yes, I did. I was starting to panic. I thought everyone would die at night again. Yeah, we'll have a little nighttime view from the crap amusement park out here. While we wait for it to level up. Uh, but thank you for turning up today, guys. I'm glad you've enjoyed a little look at base stream. Uh, we'll have a lot more of them when 25 tiles opens because there'll be a lot more of these sorts of spaces that don't quite lend themselves to a full video that we can just hang out on the stream and do different things with. But yes, a posture check and a hydration break, please. If you would, everyone. Turned out as intended, cheers, Star. Thank you. Glad to hear. I see you're in, you're in uh, Lancashire, aren't you, Star? There's kind of... um. There's a similar vibe down this near the Morecambe waterfront if you've been down there. Kind of like the old shut down fun fair. It's kind of what we're going for here. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Uh, great idea. Thank you, Sarah. Fusey would be proud of this detail and that is high praise indeed. Does if Fusey signs it off. Poo Park got the sewage plant and it's turned to shit. <laughs> That's the one grouper. Or oh, Joshua Helmer with an eight dollar uh, eight pound super chat. <laughs> Get yourself a spinach and ricotta pizza and some raisins. <laughs> my, my treat. I will, Joshua. Thank you very much for the super chat, buddy. I appreciate it. I will. Thank you. Thank you for bringing Orchid Bay to the live streams. Yes, they will. They will. You might want to scrunch up some more path nodes before popping 25 tiles though. You know what, I actually need to check the node count for Orchid Bay. I've no idea what we're on. Not a clue. Yeah. Nice view to the city from here though. Um, I think... What are we on? Well, there we go, we've hit level 2 now. Wonderful. Cool, so that's as far as we'll take it. We definitely don't want level 3. Um, this guy can't afford to maintain ferris wheels and stuff. Uh, do we need the carousel? Yeah, carousels are horrific, aren't they? We'll have a carousel in. Uh, so let's bring the amusement park path out. And maybe we could actually do tree-lined pathways here. So... Um... It adds to the crap vibe. 
Sorry, I'm trying to think and build at the same time. <laughs> this is so, uh, don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, right, let's go for this one. Let's turn off our angle snap. We'll wrap the path around the back of the carousel. Splendid. Possible souvenir shop there as well. Yeah, it does break the fence a little bit, but that's fine. We can just bring it in ourselves. Go. So that's the carousel done. And then we'll have... What was the last one? We got the piggy train, didn't we? Piggy train's the classic. And the teacups as well. Teacups are the worst. I hate the teacups. I can think of nothing worse to do with my afternoon than sit in one of these. Yep, we'll have lots of overgrowth between that as well. And then we'll factor in the piggy train as well with another pathway. And bring it down here. Hey Christopher, welcome into the stream mate, how are you? Uh, cool. Uh, I know Morecambe, I haven't seen that part. Maybe I'll check it out and I visit my son. It's near the Morrisons, like down near the big hotel. Like, there's like an old fun fair there that's just been shut up for years. It's, uh, it's kind of disgusting. Looks awful. It's a real eyesore, but it's cool. And it's good inspiration for cities. <laughs> so you can enjoy it. Uh, let's have a couple of pig trains here. Cool. And then we'll do the pathway again. Really finicky little things, these amusement parks. Cool, that'll do. Let's just align that piggy train with the path instead. And then we'll put some overgrowth between them. So now just essentially fill the whole area with... If you've got access to the workshop here, some really simple sort of construction and trash props will go a long way for bringing in a vibe like this, I think. And it's just not maintained. Whatever grass space there was has overgrown because the groundskeeper is around the back smoking a joint or something. He's like, he's just, he doesn't care anymore. He's not been paid for weeks, but he gets free corn dogs, which is kind of sustains his diet, which is why he hangs around. But everyone's just kind of checked out of this place. Where's the teacup gang? Hopefully in the cupboard where they belong. Dush. Teacup ganger. Horrific. And let's go for bush. Over there. And then a lot of that long grass again. Over here. Not everywhere though, we'll keep it. Not totally full of long grass, just the occasional section. With a little bit of this peeing through, don't want to spill onto the road. Uh, I want the entrance to be quite overgrown though, actually, if you can help it. Quite a lot of long grass, isn't it? That is quite a lot of long grass. Tea cups or tea mugs? <laughs> tea cups. Don't start that old debate again, mine it. Yeah, over around. Okay, same thing over here again as well. That's lots of grass poking through fence vibes is what we want here. Cool. I've pretty much 318, 320 people most of the day, everyone. I appreciate everyone hanging out on there. On the stream. I'm glad you enjoy them. And a couple of live oaks popping up as well. And I don't think we can refuse some benches, which I will use the vanilla find it for, don't worry. Learned my lesson. I think we'll just go for a couple of these. So there's all like broken glass in the in the grass as well. Cigarette ends, etc. 
then. I can't search for the destroyed stuff, can I? On this find it, but I can on actual find it, I think. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, do, would you guys mind if I used find it just to search for the... I mean, they are vanilla assets. It's just destroyed stuff. It would go really well in here. Is that okay? I'm going to keep doing it until someone says no. Yeah, it gives me that sort of broken glass vibe, doesn't it, I guess? Uh, can we go for this one? Destroyed props. There we go, yeah, a load of white... Random broken stuff in the long grass that's just been chucked over. Is that okay? There we go. Isn't this an unmodded build? No casino. We've been playing with find it and prop line tools since the beginning. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, maybe... Do we use the restroom? I don't think we put the restroom in, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, we'll do a toilet over here as well. Go. Cool. And then restrooms over here. With... I guess just go for more overgrowth. And obviously this is like... I asked Colossal Order if it would be possible for them to add access to the industrial props into the vanilla game. Because obviously you get access to part props but you can't place a shipping container for example. Um, and I think it was just a flat out no. Which is a real shame. Because to not be able to place a single industrial theme prop in the game is just stupid. Don't know why they chose that. Does this hit the vibe then? Kind of a rundown amusement park that never quite finished its construction. Does it work? I think I'm on board with it. Does anyone want to name it? Feel free to name it in the comments. Okay. Is there anything else in the game from the vanilla and the DLC that breaks it? Uh, not at the minute. There is a patch next week though, so there might be next week. All depends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, there's no major bugs in the, in the game at the minute. The path unit issue is the biggest one, but it is hard to replicate across all systems. It's kind of hard to tie down exactly what's doing it. The game has been noticeably more unstable since plazas and promenades. Whatever they did in that patch, it's not quite been as smooth since then. Cool. And let's do a couple of trees in here as well, so it's not on its own. Fantastic. I don't think I hate that. I think it's alright. Urchin Bay. <laughs> we can do Urchin Bay, yeah. Find it amusement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good one, Casino, to be fair. We can go for find it amusement. Or... Do you... Find it... Can we do that? Can we do do you find it funny? Because that way the people that can't find it as a mod will be angry with me then. Do that. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good name. Oh, you can see now. We will take inspiration from your suggestion. But do you find it funny using mods in another build egg? Yes. Yes, I do. I never understand why they can include eight different industrial props of benches in the game and stone hedge pillars and junk cars, but no industrial props, I know, right? 
It makes no sense. Cool. Well, fabulous. It's actually not turned out too bad. I do like it. Mod, no mod, does it really matter? Well, when people turn around to me and be like, that's a mod, just say to them, well, the console has a tree brush and the PC doesn't. So does that make console modded? Because in my eyes it does. If you guys have a tree brush and I don't on PC, then that's a mod. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. It's not a bad space for Louila. Um, we certainly need to tie off this facility here, though. I think what I am going to do is allow this road to carry on into some sort of eventual industrial estate that will cross into the 25 tile area once all this gets redeveloped. So we'll have that, and then we'll do a little bit of car parking here for the industrial processing area. And then I think we'll wrap it all up with a bit of ore industry fence. So it sort of has a edge to the facility, if you like. I guess is the best way of saying it. It's not a mod if it came with the game, though. Well, that's where you're wrong, Casino, you know, because Content Manager refers to Unlock All as a mod, doesn't it? That comes with the game. They are technically inbuilt mods. Console has a tree brush. Yeah, you can set the size of your radius. So you can. Like, yeah, just use it as a tree brush, basically. You can't do it on console. But is it D pads? A console player will be able to tell you how. I don't know the controls for console. But you can you actually have a tree brush so you can wipe out vast amounts of trees because. The PC alternative is to do this, which is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It'll be fixing Cities 2 anyway, won't it? It'll be fixing Cities 2. Everyone has those nicks, not mods and game options. Well, the game calls the mods casino. Game calls the mods. So to me, the mods, but that makes console modded if console has a tree brush. Cool, that'll do. And then we'll have the forest run along the riverbank to hug the road. And then just at the front of the facility here too. They got a bulldoze brush as well. Do they also because you know? Console has a bulldoze brush, does it? I can't tell if that's bait or not, I'm not sure. Uh, and then we'll have a fire station in here as well, I think. Sort of rounds of that facility quite nicely, doesn't it? It's actually quite a nice little pairing of assets there. Yes, and yes, and and first person also has first person as well, doesn't it? It's one of the very few cases where like the console version has some really superior features to a PC port. It doesn't usually happen with games. It's a nice little combination of assets, that, isn't it? I like that. Water treatment plant, a fire station, and a recycling centre. Actually ties out that corner quite nicely, doesn't it? Cool. Awesome. Cool. Right, I think we are going to leave it there, guys. So next episode, we're going to be opening 25 tiles. And I think we're going to do some industrial revolution stuff and develop a big train interchange here to fix all this against the tile boundary and probably put some of Avanya's industrial revolution stuff out this way because I really want to play with that it's a fun pack and then of course we'll do several different hotel builds Karen will open up and finish Sharon will also be built the interchange here can come in and then we can get out as well into these areas here to do a big industrial port so a lot more builds to come in Ogre Bay but we'll go to the top of Mad Mountain, shall we? And say our goodbyes. Here we go. 
So let's go for a nighttime perspective, shall we? There we go. That's just that's the money shot for Orca Bay, isn't it? Yes, please, everyone. I'm so happy with this vanilla city. <laughs> so so nice. If I'm not if I'm allowed to say that, I'm very happy with it. Oh, before we do your Denver Gray with a ten US dollar super chat. Uh, first time ever, I'm actually both awake and caught up on the series of one of your live streams. It's basically over long. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. I just want to show some support of the literal days of content. Thank you so much, Denver. I really appreciate the money, mate. I really, um, yeah, super generous. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Thank you for thank you for watching, of course. But yes, thank you for hanging out, guys. I really appreciate it. Of course, Casino and Karina for modding. I appreciate you guys hanging around, but we don't really have any idiots in the chat these days. And for holding pretty much over 320 people now, which is like pretty much double what we had for ILOS live streams, right? Crazy to see how many people we can just hold and hang out here. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. Expect many more Orchid Bay streams when 25 Tiles opens. Because in and around the main episodes, we're going to have a lot of these little intricate spaces that need filling out like we've done today. So be more when we have more room, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. I'll give some shout outs to the regulars. Uh, let's go for Star Stuff, of course. John, Joshua with his Raisin Pizza, EMB, Miner. You're very welcome, Miner. Thanks for watching, mate. Jeff B, Carlos, Marco, Christopher, Sarah, of course, Claire, Jude, Max, Andreas, the Mad Groper, Lolly, D Dubs. Start to what we haven't done. We haven't done a host for a while, have we? Um Let's host someone. Who haven't we done? Oh, I can't think of someone to host. I've not really seen much serious content recently. Um, there's no one live, and now you're all just sat here waiting for me to talk. We'll, 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 we'll do it again. We'll do it again. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do it next time. Um, all right, guys. Don't forget there's a load of new content out next week with the Everything New in video. There's also the new map tier list as well, which I think you guys will see from Monday because I think the embargo lifts earlier this time. But either way, load of new content next week with all the new DLC. Otherwise, let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always... Oh, and Rachel as well. Rachel, thanks for modding too. I forgot to shout Rachel out. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Rachel. You can go to bed now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your days.